Go Nichiwa, I mean, it's Tisa Curry, and you're watching Pokecast. Today's 10 Minute First Impressions video is going to be on a Game Boy game, and that is going to be on the European version of Game Boy Labyrinth. That's just what I'm going to call it, which is Garfield's Labyrinth. Because I guess in the UK, Garfield was extremely popular, and that's the skin they chose for this one. So let's re recap since this is the last video. The Japanese version used Mickey Mouse. Made sense. Everything looked really good. The, U the United States um, version used the real Ghostbusters. Replayed as Venkman. Didn't work at all. It actually was quite stupid if you ask me. Uh, the UK version has Gorefield. And as far as music, nothing new. It's actually the same music as the Japanese version. So, there's something new about that. Well, as always, you get 10 minutes to play the game. First time playing the game, all version thereof, and I can't skip anything. So let's go ahead and start that timer. Timer's been started, and let's see... See? See what I mean? Uh, he doesn't speak. They can't even get that right. But still, see, oh, only in the you, the U.S. version does the uh, beginning sequence make no sense since there's nobody to call his name. That is so stupid. They do it in the U.K. version and the Japanese version, but only in the U.S. version is it solely just one player. What the crap? That make ah. Oh. Don't worry, that was just stupid and takes me off. Well, I guess that is Garfield. Almost kind of looks like Heathcliff, kind of. But, let's go ahead. And, so, yeah, it's the exact same game, but this time it's Garfield, to make it even more bizarre, so far, nothing's changed as well, but let's see how all the newer, um, <laughs> a cup of coffee, really? Well, I guess he does drink a lot of coffee. And same password as the US version, it looks like. How weird! Only in the Japanese version does it actually have Amer you know, English words. Okay. And come to think about it, it looks like the only music that actually was different. Oh, and he's using bombs instead of. How weird! There's actually is some correlation with the U.S. version because they in this one you use bombs. I didn't even realize. I didn't. Even, whoa. Okay. I didn't even realize that. So uh, I guess the Garfield version is a mixture of the Japanese version and the U.S. version. Huh. Okay, well that's definitely weird. Music on the story makes more sense with the Japanese version, but the weapons and the passwords are the same as the US version. Huh. Okay, that's different. So, wouldn't it make more sense for the um, free life to be a lasagna? You know, just because Garfield loves lasagna? Yeah, this time I remembered, there's water.
And it, this makes more sense that the water is going to hurt us because, well, Garfield is a cat. There, there was an episode where he went to the beach and enjoyed himself at the beach. Hmm, I think I'm thinking way too far into this. Oh well, it works. I like how they suspend an air with a jump. Alright, the key. There's a the turf. <laughs> Alright, so let's continue on. With stage four. Oh, look, the night is back. So I guess they didn't want to change anything in the Garfield version. Oh, I totally messed that up. That is so my fault. I'm trying to get the levels as quickly as I can. And I am going to totally mess up on it just because I am. Oh well. Hey, guess what? I got a bomb for you. Because you're too stupid. Not even worth it. I learned the hard way the last time. Do not rush that one. Alright, and we move forward. Stage 5. Oh. Music is the same in this stage too. Nice Egyptian style. And... I go quickly. Whoa! I forgot about that! Forgot about the fire. Enough with taking away my health! You fiendish one. Oops! Wrong button! Wait! Oh, that's right, I didn't uh, actually get to this part in the Mickey Mouse game, so the uh, dinosaurs, that totally makes sense. Wait, no they don't. They don't make any sense at all. Why is there dinosaurs in the labyrinth? Because they needed something else. No, go, 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 go! Get him, jump! Really? Oh, that was close. Okay, so those are originally dinosaurs. Gotcha. Okay. Stage six. The one I got stuck at. I remember how you say stuck, just was unable to complete. Did I get a bomb? Yeah, I only got a bomb. Um, oh man, really? Hey, look, a ghost. Hmm, that might be Slimer in the Ghostbuster one. Uh, 
Oh, you gotta be kidding me. So I actually have to sit through that twice. No! Okay. Um... Let's see if that gets him. Yep. Apparently in this game, bombs can kill ghosts. Why? We're just not going to ask. It's a game. So, okay, I got the key. I can go this way now. Holy cow, there's ten of them this time. I don't want to fall in there. If I fall in there, it's game over. Really? The timer went off. Okay. So, with this version, of course, it's Garfield. And it's funny just because of what they kept and what they changed. That's actually quite intriguing to me. I'm happy to see that Garfield actually works in this. They were able to keep the uh, story of what story they had true, even though the only biggest thing is Odie can't speak. So that was weird. Um, but it's definitely bizarre to see that they kept certain things and didn't really take the time to change everything. I mean... If you go from Mickey Mouse and a lot of different things, then you go to the real Ghostbusters and you change a lot of things. Then you go to uh, Garfield, but the only thing you really change is him and the free lives. I it just shows that this was just a rushed project, even more so than the real Ghostbusters was, because there's not very much difference in it to where you can um, go like, oh you know, and enjoy the differences. Still makes more sense than the real Ghostbusters. So, in anything, I would buy the Mickey Mouse game first, then I would buy this one, then it would be the real Ghostbusters. Because this one and the Mickey Mouse one makes more sense out of anything than the other one. Um... In all honesty, I'd say it's just worth spending the money and just getting the Mickey Mouse one because it makes more sense out of all of them since Mickey Mouse goes on Grand Adventures. More so than Garfield. And definitely more so than the real Ghostbusters. So, this has been fun seeing, you know, just what differences were really in the game. And this really just shows off what they did back then to help make a quick dollar, you know, or yen, or pound, or quid, whatever, you know, is used to buy something, euro, you know, whatever. Makes it funny to see that, that this is what they did, and that's why I was calling it the Game Boy Labyrinth, um, originally, because that is really what it was. Now, there are is more Mickey Mouse games and it's going to be fun to see if I can get a hold of them for a decent price and I'll definitely try to pick up the other versions too but you know it's just fun to see this because this really helps you know some of the, it helps out with some of the history of the games and makes it fun so out of all the three versions I'd like to know which one did you guys enjoy the most this is T. Sakura saying ciao and sayonara <laughs>